Hi everybody, this is Courtney Palladino, Platinum Consultants, currently out of Providence, Rhode Island. Thank you so much for joining us and we have our other host. Hi there, Molly Foster from Las Vegas, Nevada, Gold Consultant, and I have my cruise shirt on for you today. I don't have my cruise shirt on because it's cold. <laughs> So, but thank you so much. Today's going to be super fun. This has been a training that has been, we've been waiting for, for, for quite some time. Now that it's here, we can all get CLIA cards together. I have my old one right here and ready to renew. So we're going to go over um, what CLIA card is, what your benefits are, um, how to renew if you're new, how to get a new card pretty much everything we're going to be covering today. Okay. So Molly, the floor is yours. All right. So what we're going to do first, um, just to give you guys a timeline of our training, I've already done my um, renewal. So that's what you're going to see up here. I'm going to show you the card and everything. We're going to take you through if somebody would like to actually do it live. We'll pause the recording so your personal information is not shared. Then Courtney's going to go in and do her renewal live. And before we do all that, we're going to talk about the benefits and features of the card. So Courtney, um, I'll start with the ID. And then if we just kind of want to tag team back and forth, um, exactly what topics we do based on the website. So you're going to get, first of all, you're going to get your CLIA ID. Okay. It's called an Embark ID number. It's going to have the year on here. Now it runs a little bit differently. So CLIA is going to be good from January 1st of 2021 until December 31st of 2021. So you can order it now, but that card won't become active until January 1st. And it does have the um, expiration date at the bottom. Archer's IATA number is always going to be attached because that's our, our host. And then you get your personal Embark ID. So it does take about six to eight weeks to get your actual physical card in the mail. So if, for example, you are uh, ap applying for something that requires you to show an IATA or a CLIA number in this case, just send them the digital copy and that will suffice until you get the actual card. Um, let's go into a little bit of the trainings. I'm going to show you guys that one. So this is the CLIA site, by the way. It's called cruising.org. I should probably take you through how to log into it for the first time if you haven't. So cruising.org. And Courtney, if you can put that in the chat for me. All you're going to do, if you have not registered before, you click create a new account. First name, last name, email, submit they're gonna send you an email for some verification. Once that happens, you'll go in, you'll hit log in, and it takes you right to this main dashboard page. It's very easy to navigate, super user-friendly. And then once you have your ID, everything pops up. You might wanna start to memorize your personal ID number as well because you will need it when you start registering for other vendors. Okay, so let's go into industry-leading professional development trainings. Um, it just basically gives you a history of CLIA. Um, you know, the program started in 1975, things like that. What happens is there are a couple of certifications that you do have to complete each year before December 31st of the year that you ordered the card. So Champion 1, Champion 2, and State of the Cruise Industry are the three that you would have needed if you had your 2020. And then 2021, they always do refreshers. Now, this year is going to be a crazy year in terms of safety and sanitation protocols and procedures. So be ready for those refresher courses for anybody who's renewing. And if not, and you're brand new, you're just going to start on the courses, just like you would if you're doing a training for Disney or Princess or whoever. And you would launch the course, and you would just actually go through the modules. We won't do that today, but that's exactly how you access them. There's videos. It's a very easy training. All right, and they'll give you more information about the company as well. So Cruise Lines International Association. How we explain it um, on the webinar, if you guys have attended, basically anything that touches the water. So river cruises, big yachts, small yachts, and those big ocean liners going through the Caribbean, Alaska, Antarctica, wherever it is, all of those are going to be included under the yeah. Okay, um, certifications, events, and orders, things that you've done inside of your account. Do you want to talk about um, webinars or certifications or events? Courtney, what would you like to, to chat about a little bit? I'm or sorry, bonus commissions? Uh, let's do bonus commissions. All right. Bonus. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, so your bonus commissions, guys, and I put some information in the uh, chat here, but Molly, if you can scroll from the top. Okay, because I can't control your, your mouse. Oh, that's here. right. Yeah, and I'm not on it. Okay, so your bonus commissions, you guys will get commissions from the cruise lines, and then because you have a nice fancy Kalia card, you're actually going to be earning bonus commissions extra. Okay, so it says here bonus commissions uh, to review and redeem the individual agent member offers. You have to click the cruise line logos below. You'll continue to work. Okay, so whatever one that you're going to do, you're going to open these up, and there's probably some information. So let's open one. One up here is Norwegian cruise line bonus commissions, and I really want you guys to really take a look and see. So you get twenty-five dollars extra agent bonus commission on top of whatever Norwegian is providing you. So you're getting an eighty percent commission already, plus you're going to get a twenty-five dollar bonus commission. Okay, and of course it's for one year, right? One year from when you having that commit, having that CLIA card, and of course it's only on specific staterooms, balconies, and mini suites. Okay, and they give you already the specific cruise lines that you'll earn these bonus commissions on. So, of course, obviously, you'll earn more bonus commission when you have certain uh, certain state rooms, and it'll tell you exactly what cruise line. So, if you're really thinking money wise and having to put mock bookings together, and you know you want to earn that fifty dollars bonus commission, and you know, oh well, if I do the Norwegian, um, you know, getaway. Let me start doing mock bookings and start promoting that so you can start getting someone to book on that so you can get that $50 extra bonus commission. Does that make sense? Yes. And of course, it has all of these cruise lines on here, and, and there's a ton. We, we have access to so many. I just got off the phone about 30 minutes before our training and Atlas Ocean, Ocean Voyages is doing either a $250 or a $500 bonus uh, commission gift card that you would get on a, just a deposit for 2021 or 2022 sailings. So beyond this, there's a lot of specials running as well. Okay, so with this, it's really awesome because you're getting the 80% commission, right? and then you're getting the bonus commission and then if the cruise line is offering something else by just booking then you're going to get whatever offer that they're doing so that's like three different incomes coming in so you've got members only content as well so these are things that if you don't have a clia card or an upline who has a clia card and wants to train alongside with you then uh, you won't be able to access some of this stuff so it's really cool let's say that we want to sell um costa um they have some smaller ships pretty cool stuff you're gonna they're gonna actually take you directly into their content and there are things that you can't get access to this one happens to be on youtube so you can access it but a lot of this stuff is unpublished so just keep that in mind none of these are required i did see some questions in the chat about requirements so let me go ahead and uh talk about those really quickly. You do not have to have a CLIA card, Daryl, to book a cruise. It's just an added benefit that will give you also bonus commissions on top of it, okay? Um, let's see. Yes, Tim, you do not have to have the CLIA card um, to book either. Uh, the fee is 119 for the year right now, and you can order it anytime. So what they do is they have an open enrollment, and it's basically like a health insurance enrollment. If you guys are familiar, um, some of the companies just close their open enrollment for health insurance. So CLIA runs the same way. Usually at the end of August, they'll stop letting people order the CLIA card. And if you don't have one, you cannot get a CLIA card until the open enrollment opens. It's usually at the end of October. They pushed it a little bit this year. So that's why Courtney and I have been patiently waiting to make sure that we could do this training for you. So if you don't have the money now or today and you know, you're worried about buying presents and things for your family for Christmas, don't worry about it. You can purchase it anytime between now and when it closes in August. Just remember that you do need the CLIA card for a lot of the fam trips and other discounts if you're going to be doing personal travel for the end of for next year. Excuse me. Right, correct. And so just remember again, you'll either need a CLIA card. Some of the fam trips require an IATN card. Okay, so if you are one that needs the CLIA card, go ahead. It's a good investment. And again, it's optional. You don't have to get it. 
So there are, and this could also help address Tim's question, there are other trainings inside of here that cost money, such as um, I believe the CCC does cost extra. But when you actually go into your trainings, and this is for Amanda, who said she's already registered, the ones that you have to complete are right here. It's just, um, it's modules one through four, champion one, modules five through eight, champion two, and then state of the cruise industry. Most people start with this one. Um, I've seen a lot of people, right when it opens, they'll get this one done. And then for 2021, they'll open that up, uh, hopefully in a few weeks, so you can go ahead and get those refresher courses done as well. And then Molly, can you show us where we would get those again? So we know. Oh, to actually do the certification? Yes, what tab we would go to again. All right, so we're gonna go, and this is your dashboard, right? You're gonna okay. scroll down to industry leading professional development and you click go now and you scroll down and then it's gonna give you your transcript of things that you need to do or things that you've done. Then you just hit start, or in my case, I started it earlier uh, to show you guys, so I would hit resume. And they only have the 2020 loaded right now, just like Disney or any other one. And you'll just watch the videos and you'll go through your workbook, um, cruise champions, the works of CLIA policies, summaries, things like that. All right, so you'll just go through those, just like if you were taking your initial new agent training course. All right, and go back here. And we will get to all questions. Okay, awesome. So CLIA has live events. I was scheduled to be in Vancouver this past May, but of course that got canceled. So with your CLIA membership, of course, these things cost additional. We're not telling you that you have to pay for anything. We're just showing you all the options. Once you're a member of CLIA, you will get discount hotels when you go to their events. Right now, the next event that they're having, which um, I know I'll be attending, I'm not sure if Courtney will, July 27th through August 1st in Hollywood, Florida at the Diplomat Beach Resort. It's a really nice hotel. So these also cost money, so just keep that in mind. These will, these will be tax deductions, but again, at the end of the day, you have to look at your bottom line and see if it makes sense. If you've never been on a cruise, um, you know, or if you can take some time off from work, this is the best hands-on training. Typically, they'll do two to, two to three ship inspections during the time, um, and then they'll have presentations. You'll get to meet the CEOs and the brand managers and things of each cruise brand, so it's specifically for cruises. 95% of cruise lines are a member of CLIA, and they're the ones that have been working with the CDC for all these new safety protocols as well. You'll see the names up scrolling as well at the top. And there's a lot of different um, events going on, especially, you know, if it wasn't, you know, because of COVID, but they, uh, they just have a lot of extra stuff. So again, they're optional, but, you know, even if you get to do one, it's totally worth it, especially if you get to do two to three ship inspections, that's great. It really is. It's really good for marketing and for your business. And, and maybe you see, for example, I love Holland America, um, but I'm 34. So the clientele is like 80 plus on that one. But I love them to death because they have the best food. They have celebrity food and wine pairings and things like that. But you might have an audience or a clientele that has kids or that wants to do more sporting events. And they might like Royal Caribbean or Carnival better. So when you do the ship inspections, that's the kind of things that you're going to start noticing a little bit differently about each brand as well. So when you have your ID, you're also gonna be able to get discounts on many different things. They lay it out, this, this website is so easy to use. So let's say as a travel advisor with your CLIA card in hand, you wanna go stay at a hotel, right? So Marriott, uh, Hyatt has a great program up to 50% off if you have your CLIA card or your IATA card. Best Western um, Universal has some stuff, Omni hotels, both in Texas and in Cancun and then Wyndham. So you're going to start to accumulate all of these discounts if you're doing any personal travel and the Kia unlock this without having to make the $5,000 in paid out commissions in a year is to simply have your CLIA card. So that will fast track you to discounts if you're a traveler. Um, air consolidators such such as Centrav, rental cars such as Alamo and Avis will give you discounts. You also get discounts at Lenovo if you need a computer, Office Max and Office Depot for your office supplies, and of course UPS for shipping. Courtney and I were talking about this one just the other day. 
um, 10 percent off next day air 50 percent on domestic next day air um, international 50 percent so you've got all kind of discounts that you can use all you have to do is take this id it's a valid form of id as well if for example you're taking a flight and you forget your driver's license at home you can actually use this as a form of id to get through tsa just so you know added perk there as long as it has your name on it you're good um Molly, can you go back to that and click on one of those hotels? Absolutely. I'll click on Marriott because that's my favorite discount. So it takes you right to Marriott Bonvoy, but this is going to be for your hotel excellence. We will do a separate training once everybody gets their CLIA cards and they become active in January on exactly how to do these bookings. But uh, Courtney, do you want me to show them an example? Uh, yes, please. Okay. So helpful. I use this website pretty much every week. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult to navigate. So don't pay attention and try to learn the nitty gritty now. We will go through that um, in January once they become active because you got to go through all these tabs to get to it. So we get fantastic rates. Courtney, where do you want to go? Pick a domestic city. I would like to go to Atlanta. Okay. All right. And what's your date? uh march and let's take a look at the dates for march my birthday is march 6 which is oh a saturday perfect so let's go on a thursday because i like to get there early and then i'll leave on sunday perfect and let's say she's gonna be on a trip for two now special rate you guys can memorize this this is not a training for marriott it's just capital h as in hotel 77. don't be too concerned with these details i'm just showing you the discounts and this website is super clunky when you get to Marriott. So it does take a minute. All right. So here's one. Usually I can find a $49 rate at a Fairfield. Here's the Atlanta Marriott in Midtown, a great location for 86 bucks a night. It's usually 50% off or a little bit more. And you can cancel up until 11.59 PM of the date prior to when you're gonna go, so it's super flexible. Um, and then you can even choose which um, category you want, a double bed, a single bed, but you can, this is a very important note, you can only stay in the same hotel once a year and up to four nights. So just keep that in mind. And then you literally book it as if you were booking something for one of your clients, it attaches your, your IATA and your CLIA information and you just process it accordingly. And so that's one of the things that you're gonna get access to as well. This again, we'll do an entire training on because we do need a day to focus on this one. Right, so that's what somebody was asking for Merit, do you need to complete the training before you can use their fantastic rates with your CLIA card? Yes, absolutely, of course. So we will have a training on separately on that. Cool. Okay. So those just a snapshot of some of the discounts that you can get. Um, we talked about that. Now, what about marketing? Maybe you guys have absolutely no idea how to market your business. They've got logos. I recommend if you have your CLIA certification, put that on your email signature, right? Social media campaigns, travel agent tips, talking points to clients, right? So they're gonna give you all kind of insider tips and tricks as to how to actually go and do things. Freeimages.com, Pixabay, and they'll also put up content as well. And they have a TV, uh, TV video segment too. So marketing, marketing is gonna be the key for cruises moving forward. Okay. Okay, awesome. So it looks like Tim has a question. Do we have to book through their website in order to get the discount? You actually can't book through their website at all. It's just for your membership and rewards and for trainings. All you need to do is book directly with the cruise line and you give them your Embark ID and it attaches to Archer's IATA and then you get the commissions that way. So you don't book anything through here, Tim, but that's a great question. All right, any other questions? Uh, Tim is lost. He just said you were just on the Marriott. So we were just like going down and showing you guys some of the value that's created and added by having your CLIA card. That was simply all that was. 
Yes, Tim, you do have to show um, like a credit card or something that matches your name and then they can verify it with this because we did have an agent that went through, um, they showed their credit card and they showed this, they called the hotline and then they were able to go through without having their driver's license. So you might need another form of something with your name on it to go through, but we have seen that one work before. Cool. Yeah, I have just for it because I lost my wallet, but luckily I had extra stuff stashed away from just throwing things in my purse. So it works as long as my name is on here and it matches my, my flight, then it was good and it has a picture. Now, Bernadette, we're going to hold your question for just a second because that is part of the application that we're going to go over. We're just kind of showing you guys some tabs and navigating you through. You can look at all of the news that could possibly, could possibly want when it comes to the updates, um, policies and procedures for cruises and cancellations and rebookings and things like that. So that will be in your travel agent cruise and you just literally search for it. This one that they published was from October 27th. So it might be a little bit out of date um, because things are changing rapidly in the cruise industry, but you'll be able to find all that here. And if you want to use social media, we are cruise and with the logo of Clea travel, travel agents that works really well as well for any campaigns that you do. All right, do we want to go over the application now? Yes, do we have a volunteer that would like to apply for their cruise, clear clear card? Right now, we will pick the first one. It looks like Michelle, <laughs> Michelle got in there first. So Michelle um, would okay. like to apply. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the recording all right, guys, we're back. If you're watching this recording, we've just worked on Michelle with her application. Make sure you guys have a photo prepared uh, before you start your application. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you exactly how to fill out the application in hopefully about five minutes. Okay, so you are going to hit log in and then you're going to create a new account. And would anybody like to um, volunteer to put their information in here just to get the email going? In the chats. Just say me in the chat box and we'll put your name, last name and email address. If you're new. Anybody who's interested, Nicole, okay? Nicole so, is. Nicole. Okay. And Nicole's last name is spelled L-E-D-A-N. Is that correct, Nicole? And Nicole, can you put in the chat box your email address? Thank you, Courtney. Okay, it's Nicole, first and last right. name at AOL.com. I like how easy that is. Boom, submit. Now, Nicole's going to receive a, a reset code. And if you can let me know what that code is in the chat box, I'm gonna make your, um, I'm gonna make you a password. Hopefully that'll take it and I'll send it to you. You can just get me that reset code, Nicole. And we can, we'll private message you that code. I mean that, um, the, e, the password, Nicole. So once you check your email, for those of you who are signing up and watching Still waiting. <laughs> the video, that's okay. Uh, what you're going to do is you put that reset code in there and then it allows her or you to be able to log into your account and complete your application. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's 9-3. Nine 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 seven. Oops. I know what I did. There we go. And we will send you that password privately. So we're going to log her in now to show you guys how to do the application. Log in. Awesome, okay, so you click join or renew membership, that big red button, you scroll down, some quick tidbits of information. You have to first add Archer as your affiliate host. 
So you need the, um, the IATA number, 0582-4840. You click search. Archer pops up, you hit add. Now, very important piece of information, make sure you hit individual agent because we're not applying for a travel agency, you are a member. So you're an agent, join renew. And then you put your first and last name, your address, all your information here. Business phone, we've had some questions on this, can be a cell phone, can be your landline, can be a smart line, can be whatever. It's your personal contact information. Make sure you use an email the here, the one that you signed up with. The photo is very strict. So when you go to choose a file, it's going to uh, pick the photo for you. It's gotta be sort of like a happy passport where there's no sunglasses or anything. Make sure that you're centered. Of course, this is not Nicole. I'm just using this as an example. Hit preview my edited photo, click okay. Once your picture is set and you love it, you click verify. Then you decide if you want to um, be a boosting for your business, $19.99 a year if you wanna get leads from the CLIA, from cruising.org website for potential new clients throughout the year. Double check that it's Archer that's attached. Click yes or no if you wanna pay the extra. Let's say she doesn't, you're gonna click save and check out. Now, when you go back through Nicole, uh, just make sure you change the photo. And then all you do is you, when you get to the last page, you're gonna put in your payment information. It submits, it sends you an email. It will go to your promotions tab if you have Gmail or your spam. So once you finish an application, make sure that you go back through and every day you're checking your spam and your promotions tab because you will get a, an email that says, congratulations, you've been approved for your 2021 CLIA membership. All right. And that's that. Awesome. And should we do the quickly do the um, renewal just to see? It, it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, all your it's the exact same application. The key piece of information, um, just because we have new agent orientation starting, is that you have to choose that you are an agent, not an agency. This is where a lot of people get hung up on the application. Remember that you're an agent, not an agency. Just remember that piece of information. And you will all remember you will already have the picture from the previous year, and you just have to click um, that you need to approve that picture because if not, it won't go through. Individual agent membership application. That's the one you choose. Okay. Um, somebody asked, can Mexican agents use this CLIA card? Can they receive this CLIA card? We're not sure. So we'll have to contact Archer or give them a call tomorrow to get that piece of information. 